in the past 20 years we bought dolby surround sound to cinemas uh, and that's basically channel based surround sound and if you look at dolby atmos it's a revolutionary new technology where we basically move beyond just channels so you basically can effectively place and move any sound anywhere and we also now include overhead speakers so you get a very realistic experience of how sound will really sound in the real world so hence the experience that you get from the uh, from a audio perspective is so different that it immerses the audiences in the story mm-hmm. and helps directors you know create a very uh, real life experience uh, in the cinema hall and the movie then is just not happening on the screen mm-hmm. but it's actually happening in all around the audience so dolby atmos you know when we launched it in india in 2012 we were right towards the end in, Ch- in chennai with the spi cinemas and uh, shivaji 3d was the first movie that we did uh, since then we have about 50 screens of dolby atmos across the country which are installed or which are waiting opening uh, you know waiting uh, uh, inauguration now so it's uh, that's been about and that is spread across the country from large cities to smaller towns from multiplexes uh, to single screens uh, so it's quite widespread in that sense and uh, over about 60 movie titles in india have been done in dolby atmos vis-a-vis globally we've done about 700 dolby atmos screens so far and about 180 titles so if you compare that the adoption in india has been quite rapid uh, and it's been very exciting where you know, both cinema screens and movie titles have been adopting the technology pretty quickly. There are many more under installation, but we expect about 75 to 80 to open by the end of the year. Uh, Dolby's belief always has been to work end to end from content creation to the playback of that content. So we actually end up doing a lot of work at the content creation stage. We'll be working with directors, with sound designers and mixing engineers uh, to provide them technical services, the technology for creating uh, content uh, in Atmos that can start from something as simple as a demonstration to working with them throughout the movie mixing, uh, you know, providing technical inputs uh, and, you know, then helping them even at times on the on the on the screening side, you know, to just make sure that the, the special screenings go off well. So it's a wide variety of services that we offer them. We have technology, we have options for for uh, cinemas to do the upgrade from surround sound to Dolby Atmos in in multiple steps mm-hmm. if they'd like to. But if you look, if you talk about Dolby Atmos, it's it's one spec. It's that full experience. Uh, you know, it's 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 it is no options in that sense over there it's it's so you have to go for the whole experience we've been very involved in the consumer vertical the home and the mobile devices for a number of years now in india we've done a lot of work to bring surround sound uh, uh, to television broadcast so as hd channels are growing mm-hmm. uh, we're, we're attaching dolby surround sound to hd channels to the point where pretty much it's now becoming the de facto. And then when you go beyond that, if you look at the devices side, the mobile devices, people like Amazon, LG, Samsung, and these are leading partners, Lenovo, they use our technology in multiple devices. Uh, what we're also doing is now, from a Dolby Atmos perspective, mm-hmm. we are bringing the Dolby Atmos experience from the cinema into the home through a home theater system. Uh, and you know we're showing demonstrations of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, the products are now a- available from partners like Onkyo, Yamaha, Marans, mm-hmm. Denon, a wide number of partners. Uh, and then new con new content is also being announced uh, uh, through delivery through Blu-ray. So mm-hmm. we have Transformers 4, which has been the first title that has been announced, mm-hmm. will be the first Dolby At- Atmos Blu-ray disc. Uh, India is a very important market for Dolby, you know. And when I talked about the whole end-to-end ecosystem approach. Uh, it, it, it's a unique market because it has a local content ecosystem. Mm-hmm. The content primarily is all local and local and regional. So hence from a content perspective, there's a lot of work that we do. Mm-hmm. If you look at cinema, it's, it's a fast growing market. Right. If you look at broadcast, it's a fast growing market. If you look at mobile devices, it's a fast growing market. So it's a very important growth market for us. So it's a, something that is of high focus to the company and something that uh, we believe we are in early stages. We've started our work. And there's a lot more for us to do as the market shapes up and grows.